Hello, everybody. For those who have been using M+, you may have noticed it's a bit of a pain to build a correlation matrix or a table of model fit metrics. For example, if you have a big diagram like this, then your output looks like this. And nowhere in here can you find a table of model fit metrics or a correlation matrix. It's just a bunch of output that's not even very easy to copy and paste in a structured format. So I wrote some Excel macros to do the job for us. You'll get these macros if you go to the stat wiki and then go to the M plus section. And then there's a new link down here for M plus macros. If you were to click on this, it'll take you to the website where I'm storing it and where I will always be updating it. And you can just click download and you'll get the file. Once you've downloaded the file, make sure that when you open it, that you enable macros and trust the content so that the macros can run. Once you've done that, right now it has two buttons, two macros, one to build a model fit table, one to build the correlation matrix with some validity checks. Let's start with model fit. Back in M+, scroll down to the model fit information area. And you're just going to copy everything from model fit down to the bottom of model fit, so including SRMR. Don't copy more than that, or else the macro might not work. So click Copy. Go over to the Excel tools, and in range A1, just like it says here, paste that data. And if it pastes structured like this, separated out into cells, that's great. If it doesn't, don't worry, my code will handle it. Then just click Model Fit. And bada boom. We have a model fit table with chi-square, degrees of freedom, CFI, RMSEA, plus its confidence intervals, the SRMR, the recommended threshold, somewhat liberal thresholds. Obviously, it'd be nice if the CFI were a little bit more than that, and it'd be nice if the RMSEA were a little bit less than that. But using these liberal thresholds, we also interpret whether you've passed or failed. And that's it. You can now copy this table out into your report. So that's nice and easy. Let's do the correlation matrix. First, I'm going to reset the sheet, and then I'm going to go back over and get the correlation matrix data. And that is in not model results, but standardized model results. Now, if you've already standardized all of your variables, then you can actually just use the model results and it will be the same. But if you haven't already standardized all of your variables, please use these standardized model results. And you're going to copy from standardized model results all the way down to residual variances, no matter how far down that is. Here's residual variances, let's get that table, but we don't need the R-square table. So get all of this. Again, that's from standardized model results, title, all the way down to the residual variances table. You're going to copy that, go back over into Excel, paste this in A1, just like it says in the instructions here, and then hit the correlation matrix button. And there you go. It creates the correlation matrix with the square root of the AVE on the diagonal, the composite reliability, and the AVE also listed. Now, if there are problems in here, which we don't see right now, it will actually flag those. It's also noted which correlations are statistically significant at P of less than 0.05. Let's go over here and mess with our data a little bit. I'm just going to make some of these loadings really bad. Let's see, how about feedback? Let's make these all 0.3 or something like that. So you're not going to do this, but I just want to show you how this works. If I hit correlation matrix again, notice it flags the CR and the AVE because they're less than the desired thresholds, and it makes a note of it down here. And it's still past discriminant validity, funny enough. So let's go mess with it just a little bit more. Let's drop these down to 0.2. and run this again. There we go. We can see we now have some discriminant validity issues also flagged. And that's how that works. Now, let's say you accidentally click on model fit when you meant correlation matrix. It won't let you do that. Don't worry. It checks for that. I hope that's helpful. I've tested it against several models, but guaranteed someone will break it. So if it breaks, I'm sorry. It, it's better than what we have right now but it's not perfect. If you do find a situation where it breaks, please let me know. Thanks.